Yirmeyahu, Jeremiah chapter 11. The word that came to Yirmeyahu from Yahuwah saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Yahudah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Yisrael, Cursed is the man who does not obey the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day when I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and you shall do according to all that I command you, and you shall be my people, and I be your Elohim, in order to establish the oath which I have sworn to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. And I answered and said, Amen, Yahweh. And Yahweh said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Yahudah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly warned your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Mitzrayim until this day, rising early and warning, saying, Obey my voice. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but everyone walked in the stubbornness of his evil heart. So I brought on them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, and they did not do. And Yahuwah said to me, There is a conspiracy among the men of Yahudah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the wickednesses of their forefathers who refused to hear my words, and they have gone after other mighty ones to serve them. The house of Yisrael and the house of Yahudah have broken my covenant I made with their fathers. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, See, I am bringing evil on them which they are unable to escape. Then they shall cry out to me, but I shall not listen to them. And the cities of Yahudah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall go and cry out to the mighty ones to whom they burn incense, but they shall bring no deliverance to them at all in the time of their evil. For your mighty ones have become as many as these cities, O Yahudah, and you have put up as many altars to shame as there are streets in Jerusalem, altars to burn incense to Baal. And you do not pray for this people, or lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I do not hear them in the time that they cry out to me because of their evil. Why should my beloved be in my house? She has done wickedness with many. And does the Kodesh flesh remove your evil from you? Then you rejoice. Yahweh has named you green olive tree, lovely of pleasant fruit. With the noise of a great sound, he has lit it on fire and its branches shall be broken. And Yahweh of hosts who planted you has spoken evil against you for the evil of the house of Yisrael and of the house of Yahudah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me by burning incense to Baal. And Yahweh made it known to me, and I know it. Then you showed me their deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb brought to the slaughter, and I did not know that they had plotted against me, saying, let us destroy the tree with its fruit, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, and let his name be remembered no more. But, O Yahweh of hosts, who judges righteously, who tries kidneys and heart, let me see your vengeance upon them, for unto you I have revealed my cause. Therefore thus said Yahweh concerning the men of Anatot, who are seeking your life, saying, Do not neva in the name of Yahweh lest you die by our hand. Therefore thus said Yahweh of hosts, See, I am punishing them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by scarcity of food, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I bring evil on the men of Anatot, the year of their punishment.